In this Revit tips and tricks tutorial, I'm going to show you how to dock the properties and project browser palettes. So on the left here, I've got the properties palette and on the right, I've got the project browser. Currently, both these are docked. So if I just undock the project browser, so I'll pick it up by its title bar and left click and hold on the mouse. So now it is undocked and you can see that it's free to float about the interface. The problem with that is, as you can see, with it not being docked, it's quite easy for it to obscure the drawing or work area behind. So I would suggest normally you're going to want these, both of these palettes to be docked either on the same screen you're working on or you can drag these onto a second monitor which frees up your primary screen for much more workspace. So I'm just going to dock this one back where it was and to do so, again, pick it up by the title bar, left click and hold. Now the important thing is to move your cursor to the far edge of the screen and you'll see when it docks, if I keep moving, suddenly I get that blue outline of where it's going to dock, let go of the mouse button and it docks. So I'm just going to quickly run you through all the permutations of how you can dock these. So let's undock it again, left click and hold on the title bar. Now if I move it over to the left hand side where the properties palette currently is, if I move it there, you can see that it's actually going to dock it next to the properties palette. So now I have both my palettes on the left hand side. Let's undock it again. Notice the properties palette has expanded its width to take up the, if you like, the full width that was occupied by both palettes previously. So I'm just going to push that back over. Let's pick up the project browser again. This time, move my cursor fully to the left hand side, and now I get the option to dock it on the, the left hand side of the properties palette. So again, let's undock it, reset the width of the properties palette, pick it up again. Now if I move it up to the top, I can actually stack them one above the other. The problem is with this permutation is you can see you're going to do a lot of scrolling up and down in both palettes in order to get to the parameters or the, the views etc that you need to. So generally not, a, not a, a good configuration, I would suggest. Let's just undock that again. Now, the last one I want to show you, if you hover over and actually get it full screen, so the, the footprint of the project browser is actually occupying the, the whole footprint of the properties palette and you let go, what you get there is a tabbed configuration. If you look down now, you have a tab for each, the of the project browser and the properties browser. So I can now tab between the two. Again, I would suggest from experience, probably not an ideal setup because the properties palette and the project browser are so integral to your workflow in Revit, you're gonna spend half your time flicking between those. I personally would like to see both those uh, dock separately or on a second monitor for easy access to the information you need. Again, to get the browser project browser back out of that configuration just pick on its tab hold it by the tab and drag and we will finally pop it back in its original location and finally just to show you if I pick that again you can actually dock them top or bottom as well uh, again your mileage may vary but my experience is not not an ideal um, setup see a lot of wasted space there um, and it obviously minimizes to a, to a great extent your your work area so to finish I'm just going to pick up the project browser from the top and return it to the right hand side where we first started and just adjust its width I hope you enjoyed this Revit architecture video if so please hit the like button if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released, please subscribe to this channel 
and to see the full range of my Autodesk Revit architecture training material, including video courses and PDF ebooks, please visit the website at www.bimscape.com. You can also connect with Bimscape on the social media platforms listed here.